Good morning, Saving Grace family. I'm coming to you from the plains of Nebraska. And uh, I just uh, am out here in the middle of uh, the farmlands of the heartland. And, you know, I just think about all these cornfields that are really surrounding me. And right now they've just, uh, you know, it's winter, so they've already been harvested and they're, you know, plowing to, um, you know, get prepared for uh, the planting once the, the last freeze is is over and you know I just think of as I drive through miles and miles and miles of uh, empty plowed some of them just cut down corn uh, stalks I, I just think of the harvest field and this morning uh, we are so privileged to be able to uh, have Pastor Rob Douglas uh, with us this morning and uh, you know just uh, I asked him if he'd share with us uh, today, just a little bit about uh, how uh, the the whole idea of the harvest fields of the nations uh, birthed in our church, a passion for the lost, a passion for the nations. And you know, uh, it's so important for you and, and for me as those that uh, really uh, don't maybe sense a call to uh, full-time missions to never ever think that we're not called to missions. And what do I mean by that? Well, everyone has a part in the body, no doubt about it. And some are called to go, and some are called to stay. And those of us that are called to stay are certainly called to be a witness in our sphere of influence, to reach people with the gospel. We're also called to care about those that we've never known, never seen, never met. Those on the other side of the globe, we're called to pray for them. Jesus said, the harvest is plentiful and the labors of few. Therefore, pray to the Lord of the harvest that he'd send out labors into his harvest field. And my prayer is, is that we would be uh, those that would have a passion uh, for the, the world. Uh, whether we go or we stay, that, that wouldn't affect where we are in our hearts for the lost. Jesus came for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and so this morning, as you hear, Rob, I just pray that you'd open your heart and just say, God, would you give me a heart for the nations? And then, Lord, show me what my part is. Show me if you've called me maybe to go. And I have no doubt that there are some sitting uh, there in church this morning that God's got a calling on for full-time missions. There's no question in my mind that the Lord's stirring and doing that work. And, and then there's those that, that we pray and we're open, but God says, stay. Stay and have an influence here and support and uh, pray and encourage and stir and, and be uh, really the shaft of that spear. And so I pray this morning you'd open your hearts and uh, just allow the Holy Spirit to stir within you a passion for his name, a passion for the gospel, and a passion to see people reached with the gospel. Lord bless you guys and uh, just have an awesome time as you worship the Lord uh, together this morning.